So let's talk about Middle Eastern rhinoplasty. Uh, it's an area of my expertise and passion. Middle Eastern rhinoplasty is a little complex. Uh, ethnic rhinoplasty is a field that, you know, it's very common in, in the Newport Beach, Orange County area, as most of our patients have some ethnicity. It's amazing through our generation with genomic mixing and interracial diversity, now we have a variety of different facial features. So our focus and philosophy is balanced rhinoplasty, which is focusing and making sure everything is proportional and natural looking. We keeping the ethnic congruity intact. We keeping the proportions similar to every face. And so every face is different. So every rhinoplasty should be different. So there's no cookie cutter. So the first thing first, our goal is to focus on the skin and soft tissue. There are certain uh, a variety of different products that we can use before the surgery to get the skin ready. During the surgery, we can reduce the thickness of the skin. That's one of the key areas. And then specifically in the upper portion of the bridge, there's typically overwhelming um, a hump or large hump that should be reduced. Uh, there is sometimes a deepening of the radix that needs to be filled, for example. But typically, these patients, um, our group of patients, Middle Eastern rhinoplasty, have a lot of deviation and obstruction. Most of them are not even aware that uh, they do have uh, obstruction of the breathing through their nose because they just don't know what the normal breathing through the nose is. But, you know, when they're not paying attention, their mouth may be open. We want to bring the deviation and the asymmetry of the face. It's in improved and it blends in with the rest of the nose. And then in the tip, Typically, there's some drooping. We need to have cartilage graft placed in there to support the tip to make it look better. And the bony asymmetry also be correct. We use special techniques that very precisely can cut the bone the, in a very atraumatic fashion. So it's not breaking the bone and it significantly improves. Every patient is different. And uh, so the way we remodel the bone and reshape the bone is also different. Then lastly, the ailer base in certain group of patients we need to address and narrow. And then overall, our focus and philosophy is to make the nose fit the rest of the face in a proportional way. And that's the focus of balanced rhinoplasty. And then so the goal is when you look at all the after pictures, looks more um, natural looking than the before picture because the attention goes to the beauty of the eyes because the nose essentially becomes invisible. So hopefully this helps. I've been lucky and um, I've been honored and privileged to go to Iran and um, they've asked me to give many lectures there and I've learned and I taught my, my colleagues in Iran and these are a very special group of patients that are very loyal and happy with the balanced rhinoplasty.